that's what the, this chart is for. So I'm going to do a test here using this pipe, and this is the reason why I mark this every one inch. This is a 30 inch pipe, and so I'm going to establish a, a, a couple bends here, and uh, just to get an idea before I start bending the conduit for the go kart. So that'll give me a good uh, uh, test indication, and if I mess up, well, I'd rather mess up on this uh, scrap piece of pipe than, than on the conduit itself. So this is my improvised tubing bender. This is a part that I had to add. This is just telescopic uh, perforated tubing. I did have to bolt this down uh, securely to this one inch particle board. And I have a stop here to prevent this from uh, going any further. I also have a stop over here and just to securely keep this in place bolts, half inch bolts with uh, washers. Um, the pivot point is right here, so also another half inch bolt and that's the center of the circle which um, is six inches on the outside. If you were to measure on the outside, outside edge of this pipe it would be six inches, five and a half would be center line and then five inches would be the inside here assuming a one inch pipe um, diameter. This is very close to one inch, that's why I'm saying one inch. It's actually 0.922 is the outside diameter of three quarter inch conduit pipe. Probably buy a bender for about $130. I've seen some benders that you can attach it to a, a bench or a pedestal, something where it's going to be very secured. Right now I'm using these posts here. These are four by four posts that are securely into the ground with cement. It's part of my, uh, just a little roof here to protect my pull pump. And so this is where I attach this up, uh, just as a, as a quick uh, fix or my working uh, support here. I've also had to do this pulley here. I had a piece of ABS. This is about two inch diameter um, round stock ABS. And then I did these. Um, I did the pulley. I, uh, you know, I, I had to uh, machine this down on the lathe to create the uh, the other curvature. You know, to make it a little more. Um, to, to have a little better grip here as it's as the pipe is wrapping around. Conduit is, is real easy to bend um, as opposed to a rigid pipe. You can actually bend conduit on the, on the floor, you know, with the, or on the ground with just the, the, the bar that they give you, the pry bar. And so, uh, but just to make it a, nice, uh, a nicer bender, I improvised with this piece that I had. And this is running on uh, ball bearings also through this uh, bolt. Uh, as, as my center uh, uh, pivot point or axle. So this bar right here is about uh, 36 inches in length. So it gives me a good good amount to really pull this. And as I'm pulling this, as I'm pulling this towards me, I also hold with one arm here. Fortunately, I can't videotape my, uh, me bending this, but I'm about to bend this at the um, at the start mark here to create my front. Uh, uh, so my, my front tube that's going to support my front uh, wheel axles. This is where the, the axle coupler is going to be. This is Mario with MI Microflight and this is a, a tubing bender for a conduit 3 quarter inch. Basically I went and got one of these uh, benders for 3 quarter inch conduit from Home Depot and I removed the handle so that I can set it up on this board here. This is a one inch thick uh, board, particle board. I fixed what would be the die to the board and I'm using uh, the center of this uh, circle of the die as my pivot point using this bar here. That's a five foot bar to create the pry bar so that I can roll the tube around the uh, the die itself and not the die over the tube as you're doing it typically when you bend conduit, electrical conduit on the, on the, on the floor you need to step it and so when you step it, it, it uh, you, you, can, you can get some nice uh, bends but when you do complex uh, 3D bends it starts getting a little tricky and so as you can see here I did a complex 3D bend and it started to kink so I decided to um, come up with this uh, jig here. I have not seen anybody do this uh, I, mean, I tried looking for uh, videos that uh, had a similar idea, but I couldn't find them, so I ended up doing it myself. And now you know how this is done, and you can build one of these fairly uh, quickly, uh, just using the bender, uh, the dive or the head portion itself, 
and using the pry bar center line with the radius of the, the bend to create your uh, your bends, precise bends. This is a roller skate uh, uh, wheel that's attached here and the thing, to, the thing to keep in mind is to make sure that this um, head or this uh, die sits uh, parallel with the with the base here and that's what those washers are for and to make sure that everything is you know aligned precisely likewise with that wheel and that this part right here clears the upper portion of the bender and so I, I use a bunch of washers and nuts and bolts to do that that's uh, all half inch of hardware I could have gone to maybe an inch um, on the on the center portion I, I I could make it a little more beefier but that's what I had so that's what I use and I already uh, straightened some of these bends these bends were a lot wider before they and were, were up here and so I stuck this back in this um, bender and uh, made them a little more 90 degree you can see how nice that one came out and I'm working on this one here